The Telehard program is a program where we conduct you know, video visits or across the screen visits with patients where the patient is in their local community and the physician is here in Minneapolis. It offers our patients access to care that they didn't have before. Uh, there are a lot of great uh, rural physicians in Minnesota and we're lucky to work with them. This is a great way for them to have another tool on their tool belt to say, you know what, I think you need a cardiologist sooner than later. And uh, sometimes, you know, people are forced to drive those few hours to come to the cities and this is a way to hopefully prevent that for the patients and again offer that additional tool for the, the local physician. When we were in Texas last year, I started getting a little shortness of breath and when I got home it just got worse and worse. At one point I couldn't walk from my shed over there to the house without stopping at least once. Uh, to catch my breath, and then another time, maybe by the steps here. So I ended up going to the doctor and stuff, and then so they did an EKG and found out that that valve was just not working at all. When I interacted with him the first time, he didn't look well. It was very clear that he was short of breath. He was trying to finish sentences and couldn't quite get there because he was so short of breath. You know, looking at his neck, he could clearly see that his jugular veins were distended. You could just see it in his eyes that he wasn't doing well. And uh, that's a powerful part of this tool is that, uh, for example, Howard, you know, would have waited either several weeks for his appointment in New Ulm, or he would have had to drive two hours each way to get an appointment that day. And Telehart offered him the opportunity to be seen that day, and he was in the hospital uh, the next day and uh, definitely needed to be. I uh, got a call one day from Deb and was wondering if I would, rather than come up there, if I would meet at the clinic in New Orleans. I said, well, that's great. That saves me instead of 200 miles, I can only, in 20 miles, I'm there. So I got there and I wasn't even sure what this tell heart was uh, until we get in the room and she said, you're going to talk to the doctor on that. One of the first things I do is I show them the cart. I show them what their role is in this visit and then I reassure them that I'm going to be there to help them with this visit so they don't have to worry about any technology components of the visit and if there's anything that they don't understand I explain that to them I try to put them at ease right away with how this visit's going to go. Good morning Mr. Zenz, how are you? Good morning Doc, how are you today? Great, great, nice to see you. Good to see you too. Good, good. Do you mind if I call you Howard? No problem. I'm going to call all kinds of things. <laughs> well, as you know, I'm Mark Newell, one of the And that certainly uh, carries across the monitor very well. The, the patients can tell that you're interested, that you care, and you can have that real-time interaction. Uh, for those that have used sort of interactive video with their kids or grandkids, they know that it's a very reliable uh, interaction, and this is a, a privacy-compliant uh, way to do that. Most of the patients are very amazed at how clear the camera image is of both not only the doctor but also of themselves. They really like the fact that they're able to make that connection with the cardiologist. It was almost like the doctor was there and seeing me and not touching me, but certainly a doctor can tell a lot by your color and, and looking at a vein or looking at your eyes and stuff. Can you still tell if somebody truly is not feeling well or not, you know, what the physicians call the eyeball test? Well, the eyeball test absolutely works in telehealth. You can tell right away if, if the patient is not doing well um, or if they're doing better than you expected. I think I accomplished just as much doing it that way than driving 200 miles, without a doubt. It, it's, I think it was great. It offers us to approach uh, the world a little bit differently in terms of uh, providing care in rural settings because again, we can, we can be there more often. We can be able to do what we do downtown in Minneapolis, but then also be able to serve those in our communities that need us when they need us. And so I think that's a very unique opportunity and, and one we're happy to provide for our patients and, and uh, colleagues. With the technology that we have for MHI in delivering telecardiology for rural health care has been a huge step for not only the patient in the rural setting, but also for Minneapolis Heart Institute in being able to bring their quality care to the rural patient and being able to deliver that care in their home setting.